You are watching The Diary of a Suburban Farmer. Follow me as I share my thoughts and experiences as I learn to eat fresh from my garden. In this video, I talk about growing perennials from seed. Quite early on in my research, I came across perennial plants and I've decided to grow quite a few of them to make up the, the, the main bulk of my edible garden. The thought with planting perennial plants is that you'll get the benefit for many years to come. So perennials would be things such as trees and shrubs like blueberry bushes and what have you that you plant and they'll crop year on year. Um, your annuals are more kind of your, your potatoes or your leeks and carrots and, and those kind of vegetables. It is my intention to reach a, a state within the garden where at least 50 to 60 percent of the plants that are in the garden are perennial plants. So that is my aim. So let's take a closer look at what we've got then. So I'm going to grow some bergamot, some wild bergamot there. Uh, we've got some hyssop, some rocket, wild rocket, garlic some chives, so the garlic chives, we've got the chives, we've got the cardoon, and we've got the Welsh onion. And I know they're very similar, but uh, there is a reason why I'm growing all three. And of course, we've got some salad bernet here. Now, this salad bernet tastes like cucumber. So it's a perennial plant, and hopefully if these plants develop well, I will have some, some extra greens for the garden. And these cardoons, they're actually a relative of the artichoke plant. Um, and you can see they're big strong leaves although this one looks a bit weird but um, and that one there is not going to make it I don't think uh, so we've got a pretty good germination rate here and we have some chives here and I intend to grow these on so they're nice and big and healthy before I actually put them in the ground and I'm just going to dot them around the garden okay and this here is the wild rocket Looking forward to eating some of that. And next to it, we have growing the anise hyssop here. This survives down to minus 30, allegedly. Uh, so it's going to be an interesting perennial to grow. The purple flowers taste of anise and the leaves taste of mint, which is uh, it's going to be interesting. It gets to about a meter tall and a foot wide. And the next one here, this is wild bergamot, or it's sometimes known as bee balm, which it's a, it's a wild flower, so also a member of the mint family. It's been used as a honey plant, a medicinal plant, but also used as a garden ornamental. So there we have it. These are the perennials that I'm growing from seed. I hope you found this video interesting. If you've uh, got any questions, just please post in the comments below and I will read and respond. Here are them a few weeks later. Salad Bernays coming on nice, the rocket's coming on nice, the hyssop's coming on nice, bergamot's doing all right as well, so are the chives. So they all seem to be doing really well. And here we have some missing pots, and that's right, that's for the cardoon. The cardoon's already gone in the ground, and uh, I will show you those shortly. do is I can show you the seeds that I actually used um, so if you wanted to actually use these seeds yourself you could do um, you know we've got the wild strawberries salad bernet Welsh onion wild bergamot the hyssop garlic chives if anyone's actually used that, I, I found I've got a pretty high germination rate from these. Um, if anyone's actually used these, uh, the seed company before, or used these types, uh, many of them, just let me know. Comment below. Um, I'd be interested to know. Interested to know what um, what your feedback is.